Okay, part two of this uh, power steering replacement. A few things. You do need a friend uh, to help you get a spread. I don't know if you can see it. And right down in here, you got to spread these forks apart, the shaft apart a little bit. Same, uh, the bottom one I got myself, but the top, the whole handlebar assembly, I had to have someone come on over, give me a hand, so I could spread this and they can push down on it, give, put some pressure on the shaft itself. Um, that's one, one tip. You do need a friend for this. The other thing too is the tank. I put the tank in after we put, we, um, after we, we put the whole handle, handlebar assembly on with the shaft. Um, again, need a friend on the other side because on a 1000 there's so, so many wires and connectors that it gets caught on the left side um, clip uh, for, the, for the gas tank. So you have, to, you have to have someone push on this side and you got to lift up on, on the, um, all, all the um, wiring that's underneath, uh, that's pretty, actually that sits on top of the tank. That's tip number two. And like I said yeah, on the other video, you got to take everything apart. Um, I did this this morning. The pump, not the pump, power steering unit went in fairly decent t today. Um, of course, you do you um, do the bottom first. Just lay, lay everything loose first on this plate that's right there. This plate right here. Just leave them loose. You're, the tank will be. You're gonna have the tank out, so you can get that one bolt that's all the way in the back. Um, but leave everything loose, and eventually, uh, I should have left the radiator out to show you. Uh, maybe you can see it in there. Okay, there's the, there's the shaft uh, where the bolt is. Um, you, you have to push down on it. To push the pump down on the unit down onto it and spread that that shaft a little bit um, and then just leave all the bolts loose everything even the, the ones for the unit the plate the unit leave everything loose don't, don't even put the bolt in because you're, you're not going to get it in because it's not past that um, that spline point uh, let me put, oh, show you the old one okay so there's this groove on here. It will not. The bolt will not get in unless it's unless it's in in into the shaft. Ju just enough. There's very little play at all, so you can so you can get the bolt in. Um, so you got to spread it and then just put it. In, just get it in there a little bit at a time, so you can get the then you can push the bolt right through. Um. What else? So de de definitely you do need a friend to get the handlebars back in and the shaft back on onto, on, onto, the, on, onto the shaft for the uh, unit, the power, power steering unit. After, pretty much after that, um, I do have a problem. I hope it doesn't break, but I had to loosen up the plate, this plate down here. I had to loosen that up. To get this plug back in, my old one did not. I didn't have to do that. It was it was loose already. So the only thing I could think is that the plate is too far back at the moment, but I, I can't see how because this all is one straight shot down. So I just loosened up all four bolts and got a pry bar in there and pushed it forward. And if I was able to get this plug plug in, that's actually the power plug. Um, I don't know what this one, this one this one actually does, but and it's tight as hell too. Um, let's see what else? Um, so I, actually, that's the only issue I I uh, ran into was I forgot the I was too anxious to, and I, I put the battery in, so I, uh, put, I turned the key, and of course it didn't work because I forgot to put the plugs in. Um, so that's and that's where I found that this plug was too far back. It's, it's hitting the tank, and I hope it's not. It's it's tight right now. I hope it doesn't 
um, break off or anything because you have to find another unit and cut the cut that um, cut that off somewhere. Um, cut it off another unit because um, because the other way is you have to buy the whole wiring harness for this thing and it's a, and it's a it cost a fortune. And I do not know why this thing is not focusing. But anyway, um, there we go. Um, but yeah, I re now I'm in the process of putting everything back together. Um, another tip for this, when you put this, assemb this frame assembly on, um, put the radiator on, because you're going to have it on. You'll, you'll have the whole assembly off. So put, put um, go ahead and bolt bolt the radiator back into it, and then pop it back in. It's it's, it's way easy. Way, in fact, it was way too easy. Um, uh oh, there we go. Okay. So um, another thing too is on the these clamps here. They have this little nub on here. It sticks out a little bit further, and it's way too hard to get past. The groove here. I took a diagrammer and I cut it. It's a, it's a, it made it ten times easier to get the clamps on and reuse them. I, w I was almost ready to go out and get um, some uh, some new uh, some other um, hose clamps, but I, I, I just cut them off and it actually worked. Now, um, where this uh, excuse the mess. <laughs> um, I don't think I mentioned it. In yesterday's video, but you definitely have, when you you have you take the tire you gotta take the tire off, and when the gas gas tank is out, you have to pop pop the shock top, pop from the top, take take the bolt off the top and just let it lean down. Otherwise, you cannot get this part of the unit in. It and it's just ten times easier to get it to. To actually sneak it in, you gotta you gotta like snake it in this way. Um, it, it it is for it it, it it it's totally frustrating because you get the the plates loose also. Um, but you, if if you remember how the plate comes out, you can bolt bolt the unit back onto the plate and then the plate back onto the onto the um, rest of the frame. Should it, that it shouldn't be that hard, but. It took me forever to get the get the plate and this lined up yesterday because I was just it was bo baking hot out here and I was just out of out of uh, energy. I get, I couldn't do it anymore. Um, so the other um, the other thing is I when I had the tank out, I dumped it out, cleaned it, and threw it back in. This um, assembly. Um, fuel pump assembly is tight in here um, so don't worry about it it's, it is tight to begin with when you, when you put it in put it back in um, I thought I, I thought there was something wrong with it but it, there, there's not I talked to a buddy, a buddy of mine that came over and he said same thing because he's already replaced a couple on his he's got a five uh, 550 uh, burning addition same he had the same issue it, there's only there's, it's just tight in there so don't don't worry about it um all right so next things to do is got to well put pretty much put everything back together um got to refill the refill the uh antifreeze got to throw some gas in this thing